The fez, in addition to what she was saying, it represents the womb and the umbilical cord. What is the number one birthmark that we all possess? The navel. The navel, exactly, which is, re which is representative of the umbilical cord or the tassel and also the, uh, the womb that I have to put on my head because it's crowned when I'm born. Right? That's our crown because it was given by mother. You all. Islam. To begin, I'd like to explain the symbolism in our flags, seal in, in the tone. So beginning with the Moorish flag, which is the Moroccan, the, uh, the, the empire flag, um, we have five pointed stars, which represent, each point represents love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And the green represents Venus. The red obviously represents the blood of the people. Um, on, my, on my left, this is the provincial state flag for Elodia Moors Paradium Ante Georgia, which has 13 stars across the top side in the middle which represents the Delil Aziz or the Matriarchal Council, which, which contains 13 mothers who, who deal with the, with the art of legislation because they're part of the legislative branch. The blue represents the sea that we once dominated in our, in our history, as well as symbolizing coming back onto the land, out of the sea, back into full life. And obviously on here, we also have the, eye, the, uh, the eagle of the Egyptian eagle with the eye of Heru, Above it, with a maxim at the top in the year 2022, at the bottom representing the, found, the, the founding of our state government. The, the Great Seal has a uh, has a, has has a, a an owl in the middle of it, with a circle seven um, in the in, in the owl's chest. Also above, there's a pyramid behind the owl. You'll you'll see also uh, blue. The blue, which represents also the same thing, the sea, that we're coming back onto the land, out of the sea, as well as the dom our dominance, ancient dominance of the seas. Uh, you'll see the zodiac ring on there as well, and 13 stars, which also represents the 13 uh, mothers of the Delil Aziz or the Matriarchal Council, briefly on the, on the Great Seal. And finally, also the tome, which is a compilation of many ancient books, manuscripts, Treaties, uh, uh, laws such as the uh, the, the Kabbalion, the Seven Hermetic Principles. You'll find in there. You'll find the Circle Seven Quran, the Zodiac Constitution, the uh, Iroquois Confederacy, all the treaties that we've that we've acceded to, including the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, etc. That's the, that's what you're looking at when you look at the tome. It's a compilation of books, and finally, the word. Elodium Morris Paradium Ante Georgia. You may be wondering what it means. Well, Elodium means free or Elodio. Uh, Morris, we know what that means. Paradium means estate. Ante means before. And obviously we know what Georgia means. So it literally translates to free Moorish estates before Georgia. That was key to for you guys to understand if you didn't know what that meant because it is it is in uh, in Latin our ancient language. Please put your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I state your name. I, Empress Amatala Nasia Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of. The Constitution of. Elodium Moorish Pradium. Elodium Moorish Pradium. Ante Georgia. Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to. And allegiance to. To Elodium Moorish Pradium. Elodium Moorish Pradium. Ante Georgia. Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. 
without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and that I will well and faithfully discharge and faithfully discharge the duties of the office the duties of the office on which on which I am about to enter I'm about to enter that being that being the Sarahara the Sarahara head of the Lil Aziz Head of the Zalil Azi. Allah. Allah. First of all, I want to give honor to my mother um, for bearing life um, for me. Um, and I do also appreciate and accept the position uh, that I am about to foresee and take as the Sarahara of MPAC. Um, so I'm here um, with all my heart to do the necessary things so we can accomplish our mission um, that we need to do because all our information has been stolen and I just wish that my mom or my ancestors was here, which I know they're here in spirit, to really kind of understand the forefront of what has been stolen and what has been taken in place. So with that being said, I do accept my position and I'm going to do all that I can faithfully to bring an awareness to the other mothers of the planet. Place your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I repeat after me. I, Gwendolyn K, Bogan Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of. The Constitution of. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to. And allegiance to. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. On which I'm about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. That being. That being. The Delil Aziz. The Delil Aziz. Allah. Allah. Congratulations. Thank you. I am Gwendolyn K. Bogan Bay, and I accept this office of the Metro uh, Council, which is Dalil Aziz. And I, f I am fully aware that this is a high honor. So I rise to give high honors to our forerunners and our ancestors. And I accept this position with the most humblest gratitude. And I will, with all of my power, carry out this position with the five points of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I mean. Put your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I state your name. I, Udgam Kahani Bey. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of. The Constitution of. Elodium Moors Pradium Ante Georgia. Elodium Moors Pradium Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to. And allegiance to. Elodium Moors Pradium Ante Georgia. Elodium Moorish Pradium Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. 
the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter on which I'm about to enter that being the Delil Aziz that being the Delil Aziz all law all law congratulations thank you place your left hand on the tone and raise your right I state your name I Ikaro T. Esequibo Bay do solemnly affirm do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend that I will support and defend the Constitution of the Constitution of Alodia Morris Pradium Ante Georgia Alodia Morris Pradium Ante Georgia against all enemies against all enemies foreign and domestic foreign and domestic that I will here bear truth faith and allegiance that I will bear true faith and allegiance to to Alodia Morris Pradium Ante Georgia Alodia Morris Pradium Ante Georgia that I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duty of the office. On which I'm about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. That being. That being. Kadi. Kadi. All law. All law. Congratulations. Thank you. Put your left hand on the tone and put your, raise your right hand. I state your name. I Amaru L. Hiram Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of Elodium Mortis Praeum, Ate Georgia. The Constitution of Elodium Mortis Praeum, Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. Allegiance to. Allegiance to. Alolium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Alolium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. That I will take this obligation freely. That I will take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will, will, and faithfully discharge, and faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter, on which I'm about to enter, that being the hajib, that being the hajib, all law, all law. Congratulations. Ashe. I am Amaru L. Hiram Bay, Haji, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Of Lodium Morris Pradium, Anta, Georgia. AMPAG, which is a Lodium Morris Pradium, Anta, Georgia, means free Morris estates before Georgia. Unum standis, unite, we stand united. In the year 2022, we have gathered duly elected officials, Morris nationals, to form AMPAG to bring our people classified as Black, Negro, Color, African American, Latino, Spanish, Indian, ETC. Back under the Treaty of Divine Natural Positive Law. So as to reflect the principles of our ancient mothers and fathers as the founding civilized people who first inhabited and civilized the earth. Also, our ancient mothers and fathers among themselves made political, civic, and economic structure to contract one nation to another. The AMPAC, at AMPAC, we observe that addressing centuries of European colonization of Moorish land and the mass denationalization through mock constructive race paradigm as the root cause of generations that has brought about mass crime, incarceration, drug abuse, drugs, homelessness, poor housing, poor health care, education. And this would be a daunting task and never-ending endeavor if continued one case or on a case-by-case -case basis. Through the study of treaties, treaty cases, international law, acts of grievance, covenants and conventions, constitutions and court cases, the International Court of Justice, at AMPAG, we have learned that facilitating the formation of a national Moorish governing body 
among the various Moorish provincial body politics would be the most prudent approach to address centuries of European colonization of Moorish land and mass denationalization through modern modern constructive race paradigm. By assembling into a national governing body and forming a national constitution among ourselves, we will reestablish our rights and duties of statehood as a returning state in international treaties by reclaiming our pre-existing moral sovereignty through the national governing body. We will position ourselves politically to reestablish diplomacy with the nations with which we negotiated treaties between 1610 and 1892, that being England, Britain, France, Spain, United States, Portugal, Netherlands, Denmark, Sardinia, Belgium, ETC. The first order of civilization for the Moors is to restore government in our Moors communities. To teach the Moors how to create legitimate governments and constitutional structures in our own Moorish communities. To teach the Moors what kind of government structure that leads the Moors back to ancient government principles. We the Moors of Morocco who have been classified in the United States of America census constructed race category as black, Negro, colored, African American, and Indian, which has politically denationalize the Moors, and that violates the international preemptory rights or just cogents. Elodium Moors Pradium Anta Georgia is de jure autonomous provincial state government under the existing and pre-existing sovereignty of the Moroccan Empire. This day, May 29, 2022, or 1443, begins the start of restoration through the triple principle, sovereignty, independence, integrity of domain, economic liberty without any inequality. This law of restoration is guided by five principles of light, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. The supreme law of the land is the law of restoration as well as all treaties made or which shall be made under our national seal and flag, which you see before you. Our delegation of authority for establishing this law of restoration are the great law of peace from what is known today as the Iroquois Confederacy, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship between the United States of America and the Sultan of Morocco, the Jay Treaty, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce, and navigation between Great Britain and the United States of America. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship between the United States and the Bay and subjects of Tripoli, of Barbary. General Treaty between Great Britain and Morocco. Right of Protections in Morocco. General Act of the International Conference of Algeciras. Charter of the United Nations. Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, Vienna Convention on Consular Relations, Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, United Nations Declaration of the Rights of the Child, United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous, of indigenous Peoples. This provincial government and all Moorish nationals therein shall stand upon the five points of light of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. We, the autonomous, aboriginal, and indigenous people within our domains here in the empire of Morocco, Northwest Amexum, Northwest Akibalan, and the Northgate shall remain true to the ideals of law and jurisprudence. The law of nations universal, just sanguine claim of self-determination and the allodial right to establish our own cultural, social, economic, political, and civilized society on our land. We the Moors in Morocco, the mothers and sons of Northwest Amexum, Northwest Akibalan, the Northgate 
and standing on our five points of light, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, in order to restore a balanced order, just protections, reciprocal wealth, and cultural integrity for ourselves and our just sanguine heirs. Do establish this law of restoration for the organic state, Elodium Morris Pradium, anti-Georgia. Place your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I state your name. I, Lawrence Morant Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of. The Constitution of. Elodium Morris Pradium, uh, Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to. And allegiance to. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium, Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I will take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservations. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasions. And that I will well. And I will well. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of this office. On which I'm about to enter. The, the office that I'm about to enter. That being sutra. That will be sutra. Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense. All law. All law. Congratulations. Thank you. Put your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I state your name. I, Raphael Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of. The Constitution of. Elodium Morris Pradium Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to. And allegiance to. Elodium Morris Pradium Ante Georgia. Elodium Morris Pradium Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation without any mental reservations or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and that I will well and faithfully discharge and faithfully discharge the duties of the office the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter on which I'm about to enter that being mufti that being mufti all law all law congratulations thank you Repeat after me. I. I, Isaac L. Mahdi Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of Elodium Moorish Peridium. Of Elodium Moorish Peridium. Anti. Anti. Georgia. Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear. That I will bear. True faith, true faith, and allegiance, and allegiance to Elodium Morris Pradium, to Elodium Morris Pradium, Anta, Anta, Georgia, Georgia, that I take, that I take this obligation freely, this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of invasion, or purpose of invasion, and that I will well. And that I will well and faithfully discharge and faithfully discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office on which on which I am about to enter that I'm about to enter that being the Kazi that being the Kazi. All law. All law. Congratulations. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for attending our historic inauguration. To make today marks a very important day in history. I am Isaac Bay, duly elected and affirmed Chief Kazi. Kazi means Chief Judge of Elodium Morris Pradium Ante Georgia, also known by the acronym AMPAG. I would like to thank my mother, Lily Lusant, for giving birth to me and for sharing her constant wisdom of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I love her always. I would, like to, I would like to give honors to our Delil Aziz, which means Matriarchal Council, Mother Empress Bey, 
has bestowed onto me this monumental honor to be the Kazi chief judge over the judicial branch. I alone and future judges shall enforce our de jure constitution, flag, and seal forevermore. This black fez is now ordained by a matriarch to serve as a symbol of justice. I am now Justice Isaac Bay of Ampac Counselor Court. To all the mothers that are listening, it is time to take your rightful place at the head of Mother Earth and to bring our people back into the Moore's Constitution form of government. Your honorable Moore's sons are ready to follow your lead. For the record, today, May 29th, 2022, marks place and time where Moore's nationals, being descendants of Moroccans and the bloodline of ancient Moabites and Canaanites, shall rise from the place for which we fell to foreign conquerors, Moors conversos and Moors sellouts. Our de jure province of Elodium Moors Pradium, Ante Georgia, better known as Ampac, shall enforce the well-settled principles of pre-existing sovereignty of the Moroccan empire. Ampac has made its hereditament land claim through our Elodium Land Trust that we have encompassed the entire former territorial jurisdiction known as de facto state of Georgia Corporation. We Moors confirm for the record that we no longer are dead at sea via fraudulent hypothecation, its cheat, doctrine of discovery, Spanish Inquisition, secret treaties of Verona, and Unum Sanctum policies. The Moors of Ampac affirm for the for the record, a revision of allodial state law, trust law, and contract law via our consanguinity and treaty of peace and friendship, 1787 and 1836, between Morocco and the United States of America. The duly elected officials of ANPAC shall align our limited sovereignty capacity with other provincial governments throughout the motherland. The time is now for all competent Moors of Northwestern Mexico to unify each provincial duly elected governments possessing a constitution, flag, and seal join our imperial national movement. For the record, there is no Moors consulate without it first being appointed by a duly elected national Moors government. The duly elected Moors of ANPAC shall assist other provincial Moors governments by encouraging Moors to be in proper sequential orders as it relates to Rotarian government. For the record, the host country of Northwest of Mexico is in fact Morocco. I repeat, the host country of North America is in fact the old ancient world dominions of Morocco. Competent Moors should understand that the host country does not have consulates within its own borders. The host country only needs consulates and embassies in foreign countries to protect its nationals abroad. The United States is not the, the host country because the United States is a corporation. I repeat, the United States is in fact a private foreign corporation doing business at the land of Morocco. Question, what do we need as active Moors? We need competent Moors to establish de jure state capitals in each province. When competent Moors establish and unite each provincial state capital by their elected state officials, then and only then can we establish full powers as stated in the Vienna Convention of 1969, Article 2. We need all imperial national governments to protect our global national interest. Redeposit our gold and silver create our own currencies, and reinforce our global treaties, negotiate trade relations, and collect back rents from foreign occupiers here in the original land of Morocco. Keep in mind that she who controls the land controls the laws and its wealth. For the record, active Moors, please put down your self-appointed crowns and pick up a ballot and vote in a 
for local officials in your more provincial state governments. When we properly unite with full powers as conveyed in the, as conveyed in the Vienna Convention, Article 2, and Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1836, Article 22, we will impress upon the world that competent Moors are ready to join the United Nations cha Charter. This is the mission and vision of elected officials. Lastly, I would like to give honors, honorable mentions to a few of our teachers who brought the life of Moore science and civics back into our abstract way of comprehending law and history. Noble Drew Ali and his teachers, Taz Tariq Bey of the Great Seal, J. Germain Bey of Ampac, Asir, the Duke of Tears, we thank you. In conclusion, it is my great honor as elected and affirmed Chief Kazi to administer the oath of affirmations to our elected officials for our de jure AMPAC government. It shall forevermore be their limited government capacity to enforce our provincial constitution on behalf of our ancient foremothers and forefathers. We, the elected office officials of AMPAC, will no longer be subject to colonialism of the foreign profiteers, feudal, feudal law, color of law, fraud, corruption, coercion, use of force, breach of treaties, and breach of well-settled principles of the organic constitution of the Earth's land. It is time to enforce treaties made or shall be made as supreme law of the land. I say. Raise your left hand on the tone and raise your right. I state your name. I Abdul Smith Bay. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the Constitution of Alodium Morris Paradium, Ante Georgia. Alodium Morris Paradium, Ante Georgia. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to. And allegiance to. Alodium Morris Paradium, Ante Georgia. Alodium Morris Paradium, Ante Georgia. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully discharge. And faithfully discharge. The duties of the. The, the duties of the. Office on which. Office on which. I'm about to enter. I am about to enter. That being Wazir Al Rez. That being Wazir Al Rez. All law. All law. Congratulations. Thank you. I am Abdul Smith Bey, Wazir Al Rez, or Prime Minister of AMPAC. Thank you all for attending and those who are watching. To begin, I would like to give honors and appreciation to the illustrious Prophet Noble Drew Ali for his great missionary work that brought us from darkness into marvelous light. I'd also like to give honors to AMPAC, Alodia Morris Paradio, Mante, Colorado, and J. Jermaine Bay, Kazi, Chief Judge of Consular Courts and Master Teacher of International Law and Jurisprudence. I suggest you all tune into his study sessions on YouTube. I would also like to give honors to Jabande Bay, Minister of Foreign Affairs. He was instrumental in bringing us together as well as assist us in this journey of establishing a de jure state government. Alodia Morris Paradium Ante Colorado is the beacon of light in this new Morris paradigm called statehood. I would also like to give thanks to the mothers of the Dalil Aziz for their tireless efforts. They were the engine that drove the establishment of this government, as well as setting up, setting up such a beautiful venue. And finally, I'd like to honor my mother, Dora Smith, for giving me the breath of life. My father, Claude Smith, for driving politics into my consciousness, and my sister and brother-in-law, Pat and Fernandez Burke for assisting my mother in raising me to, to be the man that I am today. I thank you, honor you, and love you all. AMPAC, Alodia Morris Paradium Ante Georgia, is a grassroots operation, an organic provincial state government within the Empire of Morocco, under the existing and pre-existing sovereign authority of the Moorish Empire, also known as the Sharifian Empire 
or for short, Morocco, Al Maghrib, Al Aqsa, Morocco of the Fathers West. We are a sovereign and independent state with full autonomy from the corporate United States. We have fully ratified our state constitution, as well as all the treaties, which are the supreme laws of the land, giving us full powers and authority to enforce these treaties. Our jurisdiction on the land, air, and water is limited to the corporate fiction formerly known as the state of Georgia. According to our constitution, our dominions are as follows. Latitude, 30.5 degrees north to 34.9 degrees north. By longitude, 80.8 degrees west to 85.6 degrees west. Our earth dominions are 298 miles long, east to west and 230 miles wide, north to south, with the geographic center point being at latitude 38 degrees, 59.9 feet north by longitude 105 degrees, 38.5 feet west. The total area of land and waterways is 59,425 square miles. Essentially, the entire state or territory is being reclaimed because these are the ancient dominions of our foremothers and fathers from the center of the earth through our divine footprint into the farthest reaches of the cosmos upon which we thrive, through which we heal, and in which we are restored. This said government was established to give what's commonly known as black people an option for peace and prosperity away from the tyranny and hate experienced daily under the oppressive, colorable jurisdiction of the fraudulent United States. AMPAG is where you may properly proclaim, declare, reclaim, and retain your nationality as a Moorish national, the highest political designation on the land. According to the Treaty of Madrid, 1880, Article 15 states, any subject of Morocco who has been naturalized in a foreign country must choose between the entire submissions to the laws of the empire, meaning that we were to return back home to Morocco. Instead, we remain naturalized as U.S. citizens and subjects under the 14th Amendment, calling ourselves Negroes, Blacks, African Americans, etc. Without understanding the legal and political ramifications of such names and brands that delude to slavery, none of which would have would have happened without your sellout black leader guys, both with and without Fezes, who assisted the foreign colonizers in their conquest. But this is a new era in time now, a new normal, a time in which the Moors will come into their own to restore order, as we always have throughout history. A time in which the world must adjust to the strict laws of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, which is common law, natural law, universal law, divine law, upheld by noble women and men on behalf of humanity as a whole. These noble Moors have been asleep for far too long, buried in a shallow grave in the West, but it is time to wake up and take your place in the affairs of men and assist in the uplifting of fallen humanity. In our absence, the foreign colonizers have assumed authority and limited jurisdiction over the land and the people under color of law waged wars against us, miseducated us, oppressed us, and kept their foot on our necks in hopes that the Moorish Empire may never rise again. But those were just hopes, because it was written, sealed and delivered. The Moors are on the rise and order shall be established again, whether you like it or not. The United States of America and the United States owe a great debt to the true possessors of the land and humanity in general. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1836, through which you exist, is an, is an agreement, a bilateral contract between us, the Moroccans, and you, the Americans, in which we were to cohabitate in peace and friendship. However, you have violated those strict conditions. George Washington chopped down the cherry tree, and you've been at war with us ever since. Branding us as blacks, Negroes, and coloreds, etc., forcing us into naturalization under the 14th Amendment without our consent, amongst many, many other atrocities. Everything you have done is in contradiction of law. You are intentionally undermining common law with your feudal law, and we are here to change that as we now understand that it is our obligation to enact 
legislation on behalf of the people and the empire. Police brutality has been a major problem for us as the Asiatic peoples. We marched and prayed for civil rights, frivolous actions with no results. Also, the colonizers has been going to and fro around the world, devouring nations with acts of war using weapons of mass destruction. Well, it has been 116 years since the enactment of the Act of Algiers of 1906, signed, fully ratified, and deposited by the United States. And if you were to refer to Chapter 2, Articles 13 to 30, you will discover that the Moorish state governments have been given the, de the delegation of authority order to monitor and control the imports, exports, and usages of arms of war within the dominions of the Empire of Morocco. It is forbidden, illegal, and unlawful for the foreign colonizers to exercise the right to bear arms without the permission and consent from a Moorish state government, meaning we could have solved this pro these problems a long time ago if only we knew where to look. I just gave you a reference point, research it, then act on it as, as, it, is, as it was established for us to solidify the integrity of our domains. We expect that the United Nations, the International Court of Justice, and the international community will back us and assist us in these urgent matters as we have acceded to the United Nations Charter, the Treaty of Madrid 1880, the Treaty of Montevideo 1933, the Act of Algiers of 1906, and the Treaty of Peace and Friendship 1786, etc. And we are back in full life amongst the international community as a sovereign and autonomous competent Sharifian state government. You can expect to hear from us if the United States of America, the United States, or the corporate fiction formerly known as the state of Georgia refuse to comply with our demands, and consular court does not prevail. Governor Brian Kemp, you and your minions who fictitiously operate the corporate fiction may also expect to hear from us directly as, as we will be corresponding with you, with you all and expect to have a meeting to settle these matters to establish peace and justice within, the, within these these reclaimed Moorish international borders, formerly known as State of Georgia. Moors, operating through websites, paperwork, organizations, standalone consular courts and temples, etc., are incompetent actions. Our processes based on the old paradigm was good exercise. However, it is time now to raise your degrees and begin to study international law, which is Moroccan law. Study your treaties and conventions. Establish your de jure state governments in each of your original Moorish territories so that we may complete the decoloniz decoloniz decolonization and demilitarization process across the, the empire and take back control of our vast estate. We owe this to our ancestors' blood and our pros posterity so they, may have, so they may be born in a world of love and peace. This is the great missionary work the prophet instructed us to pursue. Over a hundred years later, and we are the third Moorish state government to come online behind Elodium Moorish Paradium, Ante Colorado, and Elodium Moorish Paradium of New Mecca. Honors to you all, and the question remains, which of you will establish the next state government? We are the Moors, officers in the Isle of Man, the high priest of Anu, keepers of the ancient Egyptian mysteries, and we are coming back into full life to reclaim the world, clean up this mess that you've made, and restore peace and order on the planet again. With that, I yield. Ashe.